Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to choose a scale for research. A scale is a tool that can be used to measure a particular construct. This particular video will be useful for those who are pursuing their master's level degree or are doing research for the first time and want to decide as to which scale they should use for their research. So let us look at some of the important points to consider while selecting a scale or a tool for research to measure a particular construct. The first thing is, which group of people are you studying? This is important to decide before going on to uh, select the scale because each and every group has its own set of problems. Those living in slums may not have the same set of problems as those who have recently migrated to a particular country for work related purposes or migrant laborers. So you need to first determine which group of people you are interested in studying. And for this, you must also be sure about the accessibility to respondents. I do have another video on how to select a research topic, uh, which I, the link to which I will be leaving in the description. You can have a look at it. There I talk about uh, the point of accessibility to respondents. The respondents must be accessible to you. You must be confident that you will be able to collect data from 100 or 200 people. So the first point to consider while selecting a scale as well is to decide which group of people you are studying. Now once you finalize that, we move on to the next point, which is what are the major problems that they are facing. Now each and every group may have its own unique problems as I said. Those who have migrated recently to another country or uh, you know migrant laborers, they may perhaps face the issue of racism. right? So this is a problem that they may be uniquely facing. And you need to list them out. You need to list all the major problems that this particular population could be facing. Once you do list them out, the third step is to find out whether some of those problems can be measured. The whole point of the scale or the tool is to be able to measure a construct in terms of numbers or quantify it. So the next thing you need to think about is can those problems be measured in numbers? For this, you need to search for the scale. So let's assume I'm interested in studying racism being faced by migrant laborers because I believe that um, migrant laborers face a lot of racism. Then I will go to Google and search scale to measure racism, right? And there are standardized tools to measure constructs like racism. So that's the third step. I'd identify whether those problems can be measured. Use Google and Google Scholar to search for the scales. Of course, I will be leaving a link, a master link to all the major psychological scales in the description. So you can check it out. The fourth thing to consider is, have there been previous studies that have used the scale? You have to find out whether there have been some previous studies that have used the scale because that ensures that the scale is standardized. Okay, That is the validity as well as the reliability of the tool has been uh, determined. Validity and reliability are very important, uh, uh, very important indicators of the quality of a scale. So therefore, you need to be sure whether the scale is standardized or not. I would usually recommend first-time researchers to use standardized scales rather than try to develop your own scale. So do read previous studies. For this, you need to go to Google Scholar and type in the keywords that you're interested in. For example, uh, racism among migrant laborers or scale to measure. Uh, racism or the particular uh, the name of the tool itself in the Google Scholar and you will find some previous studies on it. Read those studies and find out the validity and reliability of the tool if they have mentioned it. Then will measuring the selected construct or problem be useful? This is the final thing you need to consider. Yes, is it important to study this topic? Is it important to study racism um, uh, faced by migrant laborers? Yes, it is because uh, it affects a significant number of people. It is a serious issue. And uh, perhaps some of the findings can be eye-opening, can perhaps help uh, the government or uh, any other authority to come up with the policies that can help improve their situation and so on and so forth. So the usefulness of the uh, study is something that you need to consider as well. So these are the five points that you need to consider. The group of people whom you're studying, the major problems that they are facing, can those problems be measured or quantified? Have there been any previous studies that have used the scale? 
and finally will this study be useful will it actually help improve somebody's life because research should be action research you know it should help in improving someone's life at the end of the day that's what i believe in right so with that uh, we do come to the end of this video one other thing i want to note is that some of the scales are free while others are not you need to make sure that the scales are indeed free it is usually mentioned in the description if it is not then you need to google it and find out if the scales are indeed free in some cases the scales uh, may be paid that is you may have to pay a particular fee to get the scale or the tool in some other cases you have to mail the author directly and seek for permission always remember whenever you use a scale please do cite as well as provide the reference of the scale because it is not your own skill it is developed by somebody else so you need to acknowledge uh, the original authors yeah so please do be aware of this and finally i will be leaving as i said the link to all the major psychological skills in the description if you did find this video useful and you want me to make more such videos please do subscribe and like this video it motivates me to produce more such videos thanks for watching and bye for now